Come on in. I know what you're wondering. What you talking about, Woe Diddy? John Stewart and The Daily Show. Take shots at Joe Biden. Democrats, <laughs> you're not going to like this. If you don't know, John Stewart is back in the seat of The Daily Show, and he goes to town on Joe Biden. Let's take a look. To the press conference, Batman! My memory is fine. My memory, take a look at what I've done since I've become president. None of you thought I could pass any of the things I got passed. How'd that happen? I know what the hell I'm doing. I'm president. I put this country back on its feet. Well, no, he did, did not say that. Okay. okay. He did but, not say that. But, Mr. President, what what other, let me okay, answer your you. question. Many American people have been watching, and they have expressed concerns about your age. That is they, your judgment. They, that is your judgment. <laughs> Boom! He took them to the house. He was all over it. Joe Biden taking nerves, kicking ass. Press conference over. <laughs> You didn't mess up. You didn't. No, no, no. Don't stop. Wait. Hold on. There it is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Look at Joe. He's eye down, said reporter. He thinks he's on the moral high ground. He's going to go back in. Let's listen to John Stewart's reaction. No, sir, don't. No, you killed this. Take the W. What are you doing? Do not. <laughs> Allow me to present to you a one-man show about what Joe Biden's advisors were doing when he turned around and went back to the podium. The show is called No! Do not go back! I guarantee you, I guarantee you that's what the whole Democratic Party was thinking. No, sir, 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 Mr. President, sir, don't go back. But we know that he did. Initially, the president of Mexico, Sisi, did not want to open up the gate to allow humanitarian material to get in. Now, geography buffs might have noticed <laughs> Gaza and Mexico do not share a border. <laughs> That Biden was referring to Sisi, the president of Egypt, not Mexico. <laughs> Unless it was even worse than that, and he thinks the president of Mexico is named C. C. <laughs> what? Whoa. Whoa. He's just warming up, ladies and gentlemen. I am telling you, if you own a left, and this is my left hand, you may want to run away from this. Ooh. Biden no longer has the media protecting him. I think it's an all in. He is free game. And Michelle Obama is right around the corner too. Say the day for you Democrats. Oh, I'm glad you're all in that chair. So Joe Biden at a big press conference to dispel the notion that he may have lost a step and politically speaking, lost three to four steps. <laughs> but don't worry, because they don't need the press conference. The Super Bowl was on Sunday and the president was offered a chance, as per tradition, to do an interview where millions and millions of people could see him competently and clearly lay out his 2024 agenda. Or he could just turn that down and do what this is. The Biden-Harris campaign joined TikTok over the weekend. The first video was released during the Super Bowl and it shows President Biden answering questions related to the big game. Game or halftime show? Jason Kelsey or Travis Kelsey? Mama Kelsey. And I say she makes great chocolate chip cookies. Is it me or you, Mr. Old Guy, excited about chocolate chip cookies? You can't make this up. Let's see what John... There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. John Stewart is having his way with Joe Biden, his return to The Daily Show. Remember these two things before I go. Number one, there is no way that Joe Biden is going to be reelected president. And number two, life's a movie, and I just brought this story to you. Ta-da!